Ladies and gentlemen, today we've got the Shapeshifters Jonathan Bamba objectives, which is essentially objectives you can complete by completing the Shapeshifters crafting SBC. And you have to complete it 50 times with some nice packs at every little milestone. 10 times gives you an 83 plus double. Completing it 15 times is a triple 83 plus. 20 times is a double 84. 30 times is a triple 84. 40 times is a tot player. And 50 times is a Shapeshifter, along with Jonathan Bamba. Now, obviously, we're about to go over all of that shortly, but before we do get into that, if you guys are new, make sure to drop a like and subscribe, and make sure to check me out over on Twitch. We stream at the absolute minimum four days a week at 10 a.m. UK time. Without further ado, boys, let's get into it. So first of all, what is the Shapeshifters Crafting Upgrade SBC that you have to complete 50 times if you want this Bamba card? And you don't have to do it 50 times. If you only want to do it 10 times, you'll get an 83 double. Like, you don't have to do all 50. You could just stop where you're comfortable or where your club and coin budget allows you to stop, if you will. But the Shapeshifters Crafting Upgrade SBC, if you head on over to Squad Building Challenges, and we're going to head on over to the Live tab. Now, there's going to be two SBCs here that we want to favorite, okay? Now, if we keep going down here until we find it, it is the Shapeshifters Crafting Upgrade here. So this is the SBC, repeatable, with 18 days left on it. This is the one we have to craft 50 times, but we have got a silver shifting upgrade here as well, which gives 11 gold players, and it may be hinting at this is what, I mean, 11 gold players is what the Shapeshifters Crafting Upgrade SBC requires, but we're going to favorite both of these two SBCs here. Um, I'll unfavorite the World Cup and Position Modifier just for the sake of the video to make it less confusing, but these two SBCs here are the most important, right? Silver shifting upgrade and Shapeshifters Crafting Upgrade. Now, if we take a look at the Shapeshifters Crafting Upgrade SBC, BC, which is what we need to complete 50 times you need simply nine gold players it can just be common players as well it does not have to be gold rare players so that's absolutely beautiful we love that you can just go ahead fill in gold common low to high and we may see gold common starting to rise in price in the coming days or coming week even because of this but that makes complete sense i could be wrong they may not it depends how much people want to do this but only nine gold commons incredibly cheap incredibly easy that's already one out of 50 ticked off okay but what is really important here is the fact this gives 11 gold players for the silver shifting upgrade. You can do it 10 times every single day for the next 18 days as well. Now, if we have a look at what this requires, it simply requires 11 bronze players and 11 silver players. So this is an amazing, amazing grind from EA. You can put 11 bronze players into this. You can put 11 silver players into this. In return, you will get 11 gold players in return, right? Which you can then go ahead and put nine of those 11 gold players into the shapeshifters crafting upgrade so if you can do 10 of these every single day then that will get you done 10 of these every single day that means five days you should be able to have the objective done within the week but then you're probably asking the question what happens when i run out of bronze and silver players now with packs that this gives in return as well, this gives a small rare bronze players back. So I think that's six bronze players, right? So for every 11 bronze players that you submit, you're going to get a bronze pack in return, which means you're going to get, you know, you only need to buy five players to do the next bronze squad. Uh, the silver one, I wish this gave a silver pack, but in fact, actually, no. There we go. So they both give bronze packs, right? Both six bronze player packs, which means every time you do this, you, you submit 11 bronze players, you get six bronze players back. You submit 11 silver players, you get another six bronze players back. So that means you're going to be getting 12 bronze players back every single time, which means this bronze squad, you can do unlimited times. You don't have to worry about trying to get bronze players. But what you can do with excess bronze players and also a little bit of bronze pack method. And if you guys don't know what bronze pack method is, it is essentially uh, opening bronze packs with coins and just reselling the stuff that sells. It's not as effective as it once was, but if we go to classic packs here, 750 coins, we open this up. Now I've only got 146K onto my name, which you know is an incredible amount. But if we open this bronze pack, we've only got three bronzes here, so that's definitely not great. But you essentially wanna go through the bronzes and you wanna sell every single bronze that does sell for more than 300 coins is my rule of thumb just so you can keep getting some coins back into the club your duplicates like this you can just list for 200 but essentially you can open bronze packs and i'm not going to like die on the hill and say you have to do this because the bronze pack method it does come down to luck at the end of the day you may hit some bronze players that sell you may hit some bronze players you may lose 40k and be at a loss where it would have literally just been better off buying three or four bronze players for 200 coins each 
but essentially with a bit of bronze pack method and along with obviously grinding this and getting the bronze packs in return you'll have a pretty healthy club full of bronze players right but you are still missing silvers silvers is what is going to be pretty tricky to get a hold of now the best way to get a hold of those silvers to do that second silver shifting upgrade head on over to the live and we're going to scroll all the way to the end we have got a prime silver no we don't want to do that we've got a prime bronze upgrade here now this also does require 11 bronze players so as i said if you have excess bronze players you can put them into this 11 bronze players um and this will in return give you five silver players which can help you out but that's only if you've got a lot of bronze players in your club another good way if you do have have lots of like Bundesliga 2 and League 2 or low rated Libertadores and Sudamericana players and you are someone that grinds these are upgrades you can do the mixed league upgrade and it gives lots of silver players in return I mean a small Electrum players pack has got silver players in it a jumbo silver player pack or jumbo silver pack is like what 12 or 16 silver players um and this no it's, it might be a player pack but nonetheless you can get some silvers back that way premium mixed league upgrade as well which is the higher leagues um obviously a rare mixed that has some silvers in it a prime mixed has some silver Silvers in it so that's it so you've got a couple packs there as well with bundesliga serie a prem and la liga players that you can trade in for some more silvers there's many youtubers that i feel like are going to be making videos on how to grind this efficiently and when it comes to grinding i'm going to tell you guys the hard truth all right you're going to have to put a lot of coins into it if not you're going to have to put a lot of time like i'm talking two three four hours a day and at that point you have to go is it even worth it right so i think you want to have a relatively healthy coin count i'll say like at least 200,000 coins and you want to have a relatively healthy club with lots of bronze and silver players in it already try to do as much bronze squads as you can do and essentially we'll just recap over the grind one more time right submit 11 bronze players into this you'll get six bronze players back submit 11 silver players into this you'll get another six bronze players back so that's going to be 12 bronze players that you get every time you do it which means you can then put those bronzes back into the next bronze squad meaning the bronze squad you've got unlimited you do not have to worry about the bronze squad the silver squad is where you're really going to struggle and the way you can get silvers is if you do bronze pack method efficiently and if you do get lucky then you can build your club up that way along with doing some of those league SBCs that i just showed you that gives you some silver packs in return and you just got to try build up your silver the silvers in your club over time the silver players are definitely going to be pretty hard to get after you run out of them but there is definitely a grind factor as i said you're going to have to put a good amount of time in it but you complete this you can do it 10 times every single day um you get 11 gold players which you can then put into the shapeshifters crafting upgrade for nine uh, this only uh requires nine gold players too so you'll actually have an extra two gold players each time which is handy and then you'll obviously be getting a double 80 plus which means can slowly chip away at these objectives if you guys do have any further questions make sure to let me know down below as you can see that one we did complete there has already counted towards our uh, our objectives here one out of ten as it says so if you guys did enjoy hopefully this helped you out it's been your boy davis and i'll see you guys in the next one